problem c, fair division. There is a crew of n pirates from 6 to 1 million, and they want to divide their loot, which can be very, very big. Uh, they stand in circle and choose the fraction f. Each pirate uh, is taking f of the loot, uh, the real number, and passing it next. Uh, we have to find the fraction f that it exactly divides the loot. So in the very, very end, everyone will get an integer. Okay. Uh, at first, let's see what will be on the first round. The first pirate will get exactly a multiplier by f, and you can see it on the screen. Then let's see uh, the next step. Um, then uh, we can notice that this is a geometric progression. So we can compute the sum of this geometric progression. It will be something like this. Okay, then uh, let's say that f is p divided by p plus q, and then uh, minus f is q divided by p plus q. Then we can just substitute these values to this uh, geometric progression sum. Okay, uh, we will get something like this. Uh, let's try to do it a bit more beautiful. And uh, in the very, very end, we will get the, this result. This is for the first pirate, and this is for the last pirate. Uh, what we want to have? We want these numbers to be integer, which means that, uh, uh, so this is integer, and this is also integer. Uh, this means that this number multiplied by uh, GCD of these two numbers it should be also integer. But GCD of these two numbers is 1, because they are uh, nominator and denominator of the fraction. So uh, we want this number to be integer. So let it be at least 1. Then uh, let's rewrite the denominator a bit. We will have something like this and like this. So, uh, what do we want to say? We want to say that if this uh, is greater than 1, then uh, we can decrease the denominator and it will be also greater than 1. But uh, let's remember that we have at least 6 pirates, which means that p plus q it should be less than uh, the square root of, of power n minus 1, uh, which is less than 4,000. Okay, and then solution should be like. Uh, we will brute force p and q. For n bigger than 61, p plus q uh, is bounded by 2, which is relatively small. And we have to be careful with the overflow. So we can substitute p and q, which we brute force to this formula and check that it's integer. That's it. For more from the ICPC World Finals DACA, follow us at news.icpc.global and on social media with our hashtag ICPCWFDACA.